Hey everybody, this is Pete with Hydroblocks West. Again, Hydroblocks with an X, hydrobloxwest.com. For more information, go to hydrobloxwest.com. But let me show you how a project is coming along in Northern California, and at the same time explain to you how to do an, a Hydroblocks installation. In this particular case, we're doing uh, two runs in the yard, one here and one along the perimeter. If I were to go over to this side and we look this way, you would see that the slope of this yard, unfortunately, goes toward all their hardscape, toward their swimming pool, toward the home, and they're getting water uh, damage uh, under the home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the water from going toward the home, but let me just start here. In this case, we're doing a two board run. Uh, extra insurance, is it needed? No. Uh, do I want the extra insurance? Yes. And so, uh, and so does the uh, the homeowner. So as you can see, we've excavated all this dirt, and you know, unfortunately, we're doing it with shovels. So you know, we ha we end up digging a, a trench that's twice as wide uh, than what's needed, uh, because the boards are only two inches wide. So in this case, we're doing a double run, so it's a four inch uh, trench that's needed. But unless you're using a trencher, and we elected not to use a trencher today, because even though it's not raining now. It was raining pretty heavily all night last night, so we figured that we'd have a lot of mud and we didn't bother with a trencher, so we hand dug it. Um, but uh, here we have the middle run going through the yard. And then over here, we have the perimeter drain. And you can see how much water's in the, uh, in the ditch, okay? And that makes sense because guess what? You know, the whole grade comes towards this patio and uh, that's just waterlogged, water-soaked uh, soil there. So we're gonna put a two, um, board run in here as well and then what we're going to do is because a lot of this soil is very very clay uh, clay heavy we're not going to backfill on top of the boards with clay uh, we got some good quality topsoil that we will backfill on top of the boards because here's the thing you can't expect the boards to do their work to do their magic uh, for rainfall if the uh, water can never get through to the boards, right? So we can backfill on the sides of the board with the dirt that we excavated, no problem. But what we do is when we have clay, uh, we bring in either sand or topsoil, some kind of a good, uh, good medium that actually perks, that the water can get through, the rainfall can get through to get to the boards. Okay, so as you can see, this is our perimeter run, right? And then we're going to put uh, drainage alongside the house as well. So we have, as you, any of you have seen any of my videos, you know that I like to talk in terms of lines of defense. We have one line of defense here, another line of defense here, and then we have another line of defense right up against the house. And then what we're going to do is put hydro blocks all through this courtyard, all along the house. Let me take you over closer to where the house is. What we'll do, let me just show you this. What we'll do is we'll connect that run with this run and then we'll end up daylighting the water or outlighting the water, taking the water out over the hillside and uh, sending the water out over the hillside. And here is what we're doing alongside the house. So again, it's a matter of digging the trench. Look how saturated that... Uh, that soil is right up against the house, so that's not a good thing. The house is having some settling issues, some foundation issues, and that's caused by water, and so we're gonna make sure that the water isn't getting to the, to the foundation anymore, but just look how soaked that soil is right there. And, uh, and that's it. So you dig your ditch, and you put your boards in, make sure they touch. Uh, there has to be at least three inches of soil on top of the boards if you're doing a level run, and as you can see, that's a level run. And that's a level run, so we don't need slope to move water with hydroblocks, but you do need to have at least three inches of soil on top of the boards if it's going to be moving water over a, uh, a level run. And that's it from Northern California. For more information, go to hydrobloxwest.com. Again, hydroblocks with an X, hydrobloxwest.com.